tag in YouTubers. So this is a haul that I am kind of excited about. I, over the holidays, hadn't used much makeup. I wasn't feeling so well the months before. So I've been enjoying my makeup, but I haven't been excited about it <clears throat> just because I haven't been feeling well. And sorry, I have a cough drop in because my throat is still bothering me. Um, and I don't know, I just randomly kind of went out one day to return some things and kind of got back into the whole makeup thing and got excited about it, honestly. So the first thing I'm going to mention is um, I had gone into Walgreens. I think it was Walgreens. Um, and I knew that I had liked one of these I had already gotten. And it's the... Maybelline <clears throat> Color Tattoo Eye Studio and I purchased it in the color Bold Gold was the first one I purchased and I showed that in my last haul video. Well, I really liked it. I liked the consistency of it and I liked how it stayed. So I went to get a couple more and I picked up the color Bad to the Bronze which is probably by far my favorite one. It's just a gorgeous bronze color. I picked up Tough as taupe, which people are saying is tough as anything to find. This is probably the hardest color to find, they're saying. <clears throat> it is the only matte one. Oh. Sorry, it's the only matte one that um, I've seen short of. I think the white one might be matte, too. And then I also picked up Audacious Asphalt. Really pretty silver color. So I picked those up. And the bronze one <clears throat> is amazing. I love it. I've been using it quite frequently. I don't have it on today because I was playing with some other things. But, <clears throat> sorry guys. Um, <clears throat> but, it is definitely, they're definitely a great product. I really, really like them. And I said they were comparable to, I think I said Giorgio Armani, which I was totally incorrect. They're comparable to MAC Paint Pots. So, that being said, really enjoyed that. Um, I went into the mall. Oh, I know what I did first. I went to Chanel. Um, and a friend of mine here on YouTube had sent me a eye palette and I have a review coming up on it that I already taped. So you will see that soon, but I absolutely fell in love with it. So I decided to get another one. So I went in and I talked to the guy that was working at the counter in my Nordstrom's and I said, okay, tell me which one's really good for blue eyes. <clears throat> And this is the one he told me about, and it's called Mystic Eyes, number 14. I have this on my brow bone today, and this on my lids, and then I used Max One to Watch to blend out. But this color over here is a really nice, like, taupey silver, and then this is a much deeper brown. So here, I'll actually swatch for you. These are the two I have on today, and then... The taupey one and the darker one. The taupey one feels a little bit chalky. It's the only thing I'll mention. Sorry, I gotta wipe my hand off. So I picked that up and I'm excited to use that and I did play with it today. The next thing I picked up, as you know, my skin's really been changing and I've been having some issues with it and most of the foundations I have are <clears throat> very matte and oil control and things like that and they're just not working for me now. So while I was there, I talked to him. I said, the Perfection Lumiere is just not working for me. I loved Pro Lumiere, but it was too oily for me back in the day. Now they don't make it. Go figure. So I talked to him about it, and I have the Vita Lumiere Aqua or Vita Lumiere Aqua, and that's fine. But I said, I just wanted something with a little bit more to it. So he did match me up for the Vita Lumiere, the traditional one. Moisture Rich Radiance Fluid Makeup got it in the color 30. Chandre? I don't know. Someone said to me um, recently that they noticed that I have trouble seeing things. I've got horrible, horrible, horrible eyesight. Like horrendous. Like I can't, I'm not allowed to drive with glasses on because I have no vision on my side. So um, my contacts correct that and but sometimes when I'm trying to read something it's very difficult for me if it's very small lettering. So that's what it looks like. I did pick this up. I'm excited to try it and to use it. I have not tried it yet, and I'll show you later why. Then I went over to the Trish McAvoy counter because someone had told me I have the Chanel Pan Liner, the Duo, and I used it today. The Nior LeMay 
duo eyeliner. This is what it looks like. And it, for me, it just doesn't work well with water. It works okay with the Fix Plus, but I'm still looking for that little bit of something else to give it a punch. And someone had mentioned to me that the Trish McAvoy finish line was amazing. I'm going to give it a try. Now, I've tried the Laura Mercier version, the tight line one, and it didn't do anything for me. It didn't do anything for the Laura Mercier liners. I wasn't impressed with it. So I decided to give this a try, and today is the first day I'm trying it, and I tried it on my waterline to see what it did because they said this will make it absolutely budge-proof, waterproof, so we'll see if it still stays. Um, this is what it looks like. It has a little eyedropper. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Goodness, that time of year. Um... So I put a, just one little drop in there and then I used my brush. So excited to work with that. It definitely caught on the brush well, which is a good start. So in the meantime, I also went and walked around the mall because I wanted to go to Sephora, but I wanted to go to Sephora at a certain time. And I'll tell you that in a minute. So um, while I was walking around, I went into Mac and I went in because I had heard someone, I forget who it was, talking about the Mac Pro Longwear Lip Creams and that they were really nice and they were not drying and that they really liked them. So I went in and I picked up two of them. I picked up Dress It Up and I kept them in the box because the name is on the edge of this and I can read that much better than the base of these because the base of these, this is the dumbest thing ever. They stamp a number over where you're trying to read and it's really difficult. So this is Dress It Up. It's a very nice pink they're very soft and creamy, just a nice nude everyday kind of, not nude, okay, because it's not nude, but a nice natural looking lipstick. Then I also picked up Unlimited. I don't have to show you the box. <laughs> and it's just a little bit deeper of a pink. It looks really scary on here. It looks kind of red, but it's really not. It's just a nice color. It's a pink with like a bit of a, just has a nice rust undertone to it, kind of. Very pretty. <clears throat> and so while I was talking to her, she also said, oh, she said, have you tried the lip liners that came out as well? And I said, no. And I, she said, well, let's look. And I said, okay. I said, well, my all-time favorite lip liner from you guys is Whirl. So I was like, give me something comparable or close to Whirl. So she told me about, it's called Hot and Spicy, no, Nice and Spicy, sorry. That's what it looks like there. It looks a little dark. It looks a little scary, but it really isn't. This isn't the one I have on today. I'll swatch Whirl next to it, just so you can see. Whirl's a little bit more pink. Kind of hard to see on this. Whirl's on this side. Whirl's just a slight bit more pink to it. That has a little bit more of a rust undertone. Um, so then I was going to pick up these again. The powders that I tend to use are very matte powders. I've been using my Chanel loose powder because that one isn't as drying and oh and my Laura Mercier one have been the two I've been really using the most now. So I was considering picking up another MSF natural. They didn't have it in my color. So then she said have you tried the Studio Care Blend which is the newest powder and she said it's kind of like the MAC MSF but it doesn't have that really kind of sheen to it. It's a little bit more matte, but it gives a really nice diffused finish. So I did pick that up in the color medium. It's a very small compact, smaller than like a studio fix. I have it on today, so I'm liking that so far. Um, then I went down to Sephora and I was waiting until a certain time because a wonderful YouTuber who does great videos, um, Josh Collier, I think is how you say his last name, sorry if I'm butchering your last name, Josh. Um, he was working for Hourglass, he works for Hourglass, and he was in the Towson that was by me that day. So I was waiting to go there to stop and talk to him, and he and I had coordinated this, so I was aware of it. So I went in, and I had a really, really great time talking to him, and at the end I'll try and um, insert a picture just he of he and I before we left he said we should take a picture so I did and I posted on Twitter but um, I'll try and put it in at the end of the video here too but he's just a wonderful person he does amazing videos on here he does something called thrifty Thursdays which is like a great buy product but I specifically went over to just hang out and talk to him but I also wanted to get some information about hourglass because 
I really short of the Mineral Veil, which didn't work out very well for me. I really haven't tried their line or tried their products, so I wanted to do that. And so I talked to him and I told him again about my foundation issue, which we had talked back and forth on Twitter a lot about that anyway. But um, I tried the Hourglass Veil Fluid Makeup Oil-Free SPF of 15, and I have this on today. And it's very nice. It's a very smooth consistency. It goes on easily. It doesn't cover up your skin. It's just a really, really pretty foundation. So I'm still testing that out and working with that. The next thing he told me about, um, we were talking about lip glasses and lip glosses and all of that. And this is a lip gloss and they're called their High Shine Endless something. Um, this is in the color Truth. This is what it looks like. These things, this is so cool. He showed me this in the store. It's waterproof basically, which is interesting because he swatched it on his hand. He squirted a bunch of water on his hand and then he rubbed his hand and it didn't come off. So I will show you the color. I'm getting another one of these. Um, I will show you the color on this. Let's see here. I have it on today. It's just really pretty. Again, same type of thing, like rosy, nice flushed color, not anything too out there. Um, absolutely loving that. And then we also were talking about, I was like, I saw their lip stains. And I love my Laura Mercier Shy Pink, like in the pot little lip stain but these are not lip stains they don't stain my lips as soon as I touch it to there it's off um, so we were talking about their lip stains and he said that they're really great and they're not drying so I picked this up in the color petal this is what it looks like it twists up sorry now I'm chewing on my thing I shouldn't have done that you twist up from the bottom and it comes up in the little sponge tip applicator and this is a very pretty color I have it on right now it's all the way at the top. It's a light, um, it's a peachy color with a little bit of like a light pink undertone to it. And actually it's funny, I was then watching a video that Lisa Lisa D1 did on all the products she loves by Hourglass. And she talked about the cheek stain and that she really loved that. So it's interesting because today what I did was, is I twisted a little bit of this up and I got it on my finger and I put it on my cheeks. And that's what I have on my cheeks today with a little bit of blush. Like, that's it. So that's kind of cool. So I wonder if it's the same, because they have the same three colors in the cheek stain as the lip stain. So I wonder if they're different formulations, and I'm sure Josh can tell me that. Then he says to me, he says, I know you love your pan liners, he says, but he goes, I think you would like this eyeliner, and it's called the Hourglass Script Precision Liquid Liner. And it is the tiniest little point of an eyeliner I have ever seen at all like and it's such a nice dark color and it's so thin um the key with this and i had to play with it i have it on today it took a, on my top line it took a little bit to get used to because you don't use it on the you don't use the tip you lay it on its side and drag it and it's just really nice it's very pigmented um i kind of messed up in a couple areas so it's a little bit thicker than what i would normally use this for but i wanted to give it a try and i'm really finding it to be a neat product so then before i left i had seen lisa lisa d1 talk about this lip liner and it's the one i have on today and it's the makeup forever aqua lip crayon waterproof lip pencil in 2c and funny enough it's just another it's all the way to the side so you've got the pro long wear whirl and then this one here so you can tell I tend to stay along the same lines this one is a little bit more rusty a little bit more of a red undertone to it or orange <clears throat> so that just being said but so far I like the consistency of that but um, we'll see how I like them overall uh, next thing is I went up to check out and um, I had enough points for a 500 point perk, whatever these things are called, um, and I picked up the Laura Mercier Flawless Favorites. This is what it looks like, and it comes with the mini full-blown volume lash building mascara, uh, mini eye basics and wheat, which I love, um, mini face polish, mini tinted moisturizer, and mini foundation primer. So. Um, thought that was fun. Normally there aren't a lot of things that I'm like wild by, but I kind of like Laura Mercier stuff and I went on a big kick with them. So I figured I'd pick that up. And then also because it was my birthday this month, I got the, um, happy birthday, like 
set and it is the Fresh Sugar Mini Lip Duo, which you know I love these mini ones. And I'm excited because the rose one is in here, which is my favorite, favorite one. And why can't I get it open? And it's just a natural one. So this is the rose one. And then this is just the traditional one, which has no color to it. So it's just a lip balm. Um, that one was probably my least favorite of all of them, the traditional one, because it just didn't wow me. So that being said, that kind of got me back into the whole makeup thing. So I was excited about that. But I do have two things that were sent to me as well. Is uh, Heidi here on YouTube, which is Jalapena 2007. She and I were talking about this stuff that she got from Julep. Um, it's a facial for hands and a glow on. It's a hand brightener and hand scrub. So this is that. She sent it to me um, because she had two of them. And I was going to order one. And then I never got around to it. And then she sent it to me. And then I forgot about it in my haul when I got back. So um, I'm really excited to give this a try and start using it. Because I want to see. She was really wowed by that. So I'm excited about that. And then when I returned as well, I had a big package from Sigma. And I haven't even opened this yet, so I'm really excited to kind of open this and show you guys. It's their new extravaganza set, and it is the, the first one is the face kit. Oh, and I should have probably, oops, all right, there we go. First one is the face kit. Ooh, this is pretty. See, I didn't even watch any videos on this yet, so I didn't even know what to expect. Wow, look at that. It's a nice, wow, that is just really nice. Ooh. I, did, I have no idea what was going to be in here, by the way. I had no idea. It's four brushes. This is what they look like. And there's a nice big fan brush. I'm really excited to try this with my illuminator. Um, this is a F92. Ooh, that's a really cool brush. Um, these, the thing that makes these, um, it's called Extravaganza, is the gold. It's the 18 plated gold. I'm pretty sure it's 18 plated gold. Um, ferrules and they're just beautiful. This, ooh, it's a really nice look. I'm really excited about this one. Look at that. Ooh, that's so, that's just great for buffing. Wow, that's fun. What is that called? Sorry. F94 Kabuki. And then this one here, which is a powder brush, an F95. I have been using my, um, what is this, the synthetic one, the large powder, which is an F30, but wow. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited to play with these now. So, and this casing is awesome. It's just like really, really sturdy. So then they also sent me, sorry, the Extravaganza Complete Kit, 18 gold, I was right, 18 gold, 18 karat gold plated. Let's see what this one looks like. See, wow, look at this book. That's really big, but how fun. Wow, this is cool. This is really cool. Wow, this is just, I don't even know where to start with this. I'm just gonna flip through and show you guys. Which by the way, um, I'm not sure how much this set is, but Sigma right now has a 10% off, 10% off code that I will post below um, with my with the link. Um, and uh, it I think expires January 31st. But look at this, okay, so this opens up. There's all these face brushes here. All these eye brushes here. Look at this. This is so cool. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. How fun. I am so excited to play with this. So excited. And I am going away at the end of this month to California to wine country. And I'm so excited. I'll take this with me. How great. I had no idea what to expect with those. And I am just so excited. They're beautiful. Um, so that being said, then the I say that being said a lot. The last thing I want to talk about is I have some books back here that you can see and people always ask me about this quite frequently actually. They see it and they say, what is that book? And this is what the edge of it looks like. It is a Sephora book and it's called the Sephora, uh, the ultimate guide to makeup, skin and hair from the beauty authority. And this is a book that I bought easily two and a half, three years ago. And what it is, is it is a book of like, here, let's try something. Uh, Let's find something. What is beauty is chapter one. Fake a sexy juicy pout. It tells you what products they like to use, steps of how to use it, and it is all Sephora products in here. And it shows you which products they suggest, tips over here, 
like things to use. I think they don't carry this anymore. I think that might be why this book is not around as much anymore because how do you really continue to sell a book when there are things that you don't carry anymore? So fake high cheekbones, like look at this. And then, and I don't know, maybe you can get this on Amazon or something, but um, it's the products that they suggest you use to the brushes, to the everything. Um, so people have always asked me about this. I bought it, does it say a price on it? There it is. I paid 20, no, $27.95 for it. And I bought it a while ago and it was the last one they had years ago. So um, I don't know, do a search around eBay or places like that and see if they have it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a really long one. I'm sorry, but I wanted to get all of this out there. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions on anything you saw here and let me know if you want to review. Oh, last thing, I'm going to try and stand up. Everybody keeps asking to see the so-called baby bump. I don't really have much of one. There's a tiny, tiny little one, but it's not like huge. So everybody keeps asking me that. So that's that. Um, I'm actually running out today to do some errands. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.